In this video, we're going to take a look at another type of word problem dealing with perimeter. As we do, we will remember that the formula for perimeter is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. This formula comes from having two lengths and two widths around the outside. Often, we are asked to give either the length or the width, and as we do, we will remember that the width is always the short side, and the length is always the long side. Let's try an example where we find some measurements on a rectangle. To set up these problems, we will make sure we clearly label the length and the width of the rectangle. Here, the rectangle is three times as long as it is wide. We know nothing about the width, and for that reason, the width will be our variable. The length is three times this distance. We need to multiply the width by three to get the length measurement. From here, we know the formula for perimeter is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. The perimeter we are given in the problem is 62 centimeters, is equal to 2 times the length, which we just labeled as 3x, plus 2 times the width, which we just labeled as x. By replacing these key parts in the formula, we end up with an equation we can quickly solve. Multiplying out on the right side gives us 62 equals 6x plus 2x. Combining like terms will give us 62 equals 8x. Finally, to get x alone, we divide both sides by 8, and we get x is equal to 7.75. However, we must remember that the question is asking about the length. The measurement we just found was the width, x, 7.75. The length will be 3x, or 3 times 7.75. 3 times 7.75 gives us the length is equal to 23.25 centimeters. Let's try another example where we again use the perimeter formula to find a missing side. Again, we will clearly label the length and width. In this problem, the width is 6 less than the length. We know nothing about the length, so that will be our variable. The width is 6 less means we subtract 6, which we know is built backwards from the length, or x. Again, we go to the perimeter formula, which equals 2 lengths plus 2 widths. Replacing each variable with what it represents, p, the perimeter, is 52, equals 2 times the length, which we just labeled as x, plus 2 times the width, which we just said was x minus 6. We now have an equation we can quickly solve to answer the question. First, we distribute through the parentheses. We now have 52 equals 2x plus 2x, minus 12. Combining like terms gives us 52 equals 4x minus 12. Adding 12 to both sides gives us 64 equals 4x. Finally, dividing both sides by 4 will give us x equals 16. x is the length. The width is x, or 16 minus 6, which equals 10. The width is 10 centimeters. 